It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Asda and Vocation Brewing Company. Now, Vocation Brewery, they really make me smile. Really make me smile. They brew some fantastic beers. I was at their stand last year, 2021, at Brew London. And we drunk some fabulous little beers at their bar. Really good. And lovely people. Lovely, lovely people. Uh, this is Toucan Tropic Double Dry Hopped IPA at 6.7% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. A special edition. Uh, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Uh, we got a two finger white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation rolling up the glass. It's a lovely coloured beer. It's a very tropical. It, it looks like a punch bowl, doesn't it? Some punches, they're very red. Some punches, they're very peachy. This looks very peachy in colour. Mango juice. Let's get the aroma on this hazy looking beer. Hmm. Interesting aroma. I started to some beers. Some beers will fire their aroma up your nose naturally. Whereas this beer, I started inhaling and then it, it, it caused me to really take that last deep breath, really kind of take in the aroma because it was a bit of an effort, to be honest with you. It's a nice aroma when you get there. But if you give it a little, a little nose, like a little, you'll pick up a, a half decent aroma. But if you give it the full beans, if you get in there and... Careful you don't snort any up your nose though. Mmm, then, then yeah, very tropical. I can see why they call it toucan. Pineapple, tin pineapple, grapefruit, lemon, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. I wanted to take two bites at the cherry. I wanted to kind of sip this beer twice or more than sip. I wanted to mouthful this beer twice. It's unbelievably soft. It's unbelievably drinkable for the 6.7% ABV beer. Now, if something like this arrived on our shores from America, something at around 6.7%, ABV, then it really would be more kind of full-bodied and sticky. But I like the fact that it it isn't. I like the fact that it's more drinkable. It's more refreshing. It's more kind of push, push, push. You know, it's more. It's, it's almost like a session IPA. It really is. It's almost like a pale ale or a session IPA. It's really dangerously drinkable. It's very refreshing. They've treated the water. The water is nice and soft. But importantly here, the, the, the flavours are terrific. They're really, really good to, to go with or to, to, to go along with that kind of refreshing taste. Mm. 
Mm. Really rather nice, really rather special. Very rarely do you hear the word the word special here on the channel, but this is a really special beer for the price point. For that price point. <laughs> now now I've been somewhat critical in the past of supermarket craft beer. I've called sour sour beers not quite sour enough. I've called some of these IPAs and pale ales, they're just not doing it for me. They're just not working. But I'd just like to stand here and say that this three pounds can of beer is one of the most best value for money IPAs that's on the market right now. I think if you put a blindfold on me, I think his name is Doom Tecker. Doom Tecker. I think he comments on my video saying, you need to do a blind taste test. And I, I, I fully agree with what you're saying. Um, <laughs> but if, if Doom Tecker who comments on my videos, um, if he did put a blind fold on me now and gave me this beer, then I'd be just going, hmm, yeah, this is, this is going to be about five or six pound or maybe seven pound in your local bottle shop. The very fact that it's three pounds... Is remarkable it really is remarkable because it tastes like a six seven pound can of craft beer pineapple grapefruit orange peel flashy blood orange a nice middle it's refreshing a little bit of sweet malt to begin with little bit of bitterness on the back end that's lovely absolutely lovely really is um i hope it's not a special edition i hope that they can keep this in asda for quite some time because i think this could be the hero beer that asda are looking for this could be the beer that finally puts asda on the map as somewhere where you can go and you can trust this is the word you can trust buying a beer from asda because they didn't have the greatest of stats you've only got to look at my videos from more or less exactly one year ago now march 2021 where asda brought out their first range of craft beers and it must have been something in distribution it must have been that they just they just stored the beers incorrectly and and it was it was a case that i was scratching my head going there's some wonderful brews including vocation vocation brought out a, a perfect storm beer uh, with asda that just didn't taste right and and it was just every beer seemed to have a problem with it an unpleasant problem with it and of course when you launch to, to great fanfare, to your fan base, to people who've been buying in Asda for years and years and years. When you launch a load of beers into the store and they're not quite great, and you're being asked to pay three pound a can, then they wasn't off to a great start. But I think this could be the rectification. This could be the beer that changes everything for Asda. This could be the beer. I hope it's not a temporary special edition. I, I hope if anybody's watching from Asda here, they're looking right now into my eyes. Look into my eyes, Asda. Trust me, if you're just selling this at cost price through vocation, nobody's making any money, then absolutely fine. Take that on the chin. Take that on the chin because this eventually will be your hero beer. This will be your hero product that gets people to kind of Trust your craft beer and trust to come and buy beer from you in the future. Vocation, Toucan Tropic, Double Dry Hopped IPA. It's wonderful. It really is wonderful. Um, punchy fruit flavours and heavy hop aromas. Toucan, play that game. <laughs> Toucan, play that game. Uh, this tropical Double Dry Hopped IPA is brewed with twice as many hops for twice the flavour, creating a bold and intensely juicy character. Wonderful. 
For that price point, this is one of the best beers I've ever had from any supermarket in the UK. That's including Waitrose, Max and Spencer's, all of the high-end supermarkets. This is the one to beat. This is terrific. And it's available in Asda. I like that. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's very rare I give it a 10 out of 10 on the channel, but I just feel for the price point and for the quality that they're offering with this beer, it's fully deserved. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.